Hello everybody, welcome back to the shade, welcome to another episode. Back today in the shade, back on the starlet. Um, not really doing a huge amount of work actually on the starlet, but I've actually been here hours already. I was cleaning up the shade, going through all the parts and stuff that I have here. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of parts in all different areas. Some are new, some are old, some are off other engines that I was piling together to try and make one thing together. And yeah, just organize an awful lot of that and also made up a list of what else I actually have to do to this car to be able to get it running. Um, I was getting a small bit bogged down on it recently with uh, kind of coming in and doing half of a job and not really having stuff to finish it and then leaving stuff there and then the benches and stuff were just wrecked with stuff half taken apart waiting for stuff so I wanted to just get my head back together on it to say what I actually need to do, what parts I need and how I'm going to go about doing this thing. So um, not going to do a huge amount today, it'll probably be a short video and probably mostly me talking. <clears throat> so I'm sorry about that, if that's not what you're here for, but um, yeah. What I've done today is cleaned up everything. I actually cleaned down the car, it was completely wrecked in sawdust and dust and dirt from just sitting here for ages. Um, and it was annoying me looking at it, so I did a small bit of cleaning on the engine and tidied up everything as I was saying. So I made up a list of everything that needs to be done fairly much rough a rough list of all the parts that i need to buy everything that i need to do to try and get this thing back on the ground get the engine in it and actually get a running car out of it so yeah um i'm working five days a week and kind of in my busiest period uh, of work as well this time of year is kind of fairly chaotic so i haven't had a huge amount of time to come here and last week i was kind of saying like oh, i'm never i'm never going to get this thing done but I just came today to try and see what does have to be done. What do I need? What am I missing? Blah, blah, blah. So if I bring you back here, I tidied out this area a small bit as well. This was all just full of rubbish, still all kind of cluttered on this side, but at least now you have a bit of a working space. Um, so I'll leave this down. I wrote up a list because there's so much to do. It's not, it's not easy to remember all of it or to think what you have to buy in that. And I also want to try and do it in like an approach that makes sense and somewhere like one full thing at a time, complete one full job at a time rather than doing bits and this and bits and that. Um, so I started with, what am I missing off the suspension and brake system? So that's, I thought it was fairly close, but there is actually a couple of bits that still need to be done on it. Not nothing too major, but um, rear caliper rebuild kit. I have to get one of them. I need to repaint the rear calipers. I need to make little L brackets for this anti roll bar down here to mount up to the chassis. I need to get that done to finish off that job. I need new disc brakes for the rear. I have handbrake cables. I have to fit them for the front. I need to actually buy the bolts that the calipers fit to the carrier um because i don't have them for some reason i bought everything kind of in parts and obviously never got the bolts for that toyota can do them i think they're seven or eight euro bolts or something so i'll order them i need to get new discs for the front i actually have brake pads there but i'll probably just get new pads i need to connect up all of the calipers and finally breed uh, bleed everything and then the only other bit on the suspension side that's missing is the drop link on the front that you see me in the last video failed to fit so I actually cut off that old drop link and I'm just going to order a new one from Toyota and try and get that thing squared away. So that's everything then from the suspension and brakes side of things done. For the interior, I need to still sand all the interior. I have the primer, I need to get the paint and the mesh um, clear coat. I want to fit all of this interior so I get everything that's in the corner here into the car and out of here so that I have more room. I actually want to paint the headliner. So if anyone has any experience doing that, I've seen a couple of things about just painting it and I think that's the way I'm gonna go. But it's not really like carpet material or, or suede or anything. It's kind of like a plasticky kind of fake looking material. So I left to try and figure out that. Um, the throttle cable is the last thing on that. So everything else in the interior is fairly much fitted, but the throttle cable isn't and I can't find it. I don't know where it is. It's in the shed somewhere, but I can't find it at the minute. In terms of engine then, um, in terms of power plant, what we need, small bits at the start, I need to get a thermostat, I need to get spark plugs, I need to get a new oil filter, I need to get distributor leads, I need a clutch 
for the to go into the four EFT engine and I need to get the flywheel that I have I have to get that skimmed I need to get the loom back so I was chatting to uh, EP iron my loom is nearly done that's going to come back to me I can fit that I can fit the engine loom I need to mount the radiator properly. There's, we welded on two mounts onto the bottom to take the half red and I have nothing done to secure it on the top end so I need to do that. I want to get all new intercooler couplers so everything that I have is blue and it's not really the look I want in this so I'm going to change all of them for black. I need to fit the fuel pressure regulator and I need to plumb in all the new fuel lines with the new AN lines and fittings. I seem to be missing my rear gearbox uh, mount bolt so I'll have to get that and I also can't seem to find my front engine mount uh, bolt it's probably there somewhere but I just can't I can't find it um, there's more stuff to that like that's not including anything for the exterior in terms of getting that ready for paint or anything like that but that's fairly much everything that I need to do and as I said I'm going to do the interior thing that's kind of really only two jobs in terms of painting it and refitting back all the interior and then all of this stuff that's in the way is going to go in and out out of the way here but yeah just a bit of an update um as to what's been going on and um everything that needs needs to be done fairly much uh got a nice couple of subscribers again over the last few days i think we're at about 330 people now which is really cool to see everyone of interest in that um if you're new here welcome this is my turbo starlet project um Still on axle sends at the minute, uh, full kind of GT conversion, GT rear axle, we have all GT brakes on the front, um, have the four EFT engine fully rebuilt, all standard internals, um, everything on the car fairly much has been upgraded where possible except for the actual engine and turbo itself, that's all standard internals and CT9 turbo. We have BC racing coilovers, we have a white line anti-roll bar, HEL or HEL, whatever way you pronounce them, uh, braided brake lines front and back, um, a white line um, torsion bar at the back to adjust it with the coilovers. Uh, what else have we? Half mount or yeah, half sized uh, al aluminium radiator, uh, full GT interior to go into the car. Uh, the car is going to go 205 black. So that's it. That's a little bit of a of an update as to where we are at the minute and. Um, I'm sorry that the progress hasn't been as fast as I kind of probably said it was. Just very busy at the minute and this needs another injection of money put into it. I don't have it right now, but I will have it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for sticking through and thanks for subscribing. So hopefully we'll be making a bit more progress now soon on the car. So we're starting to get the ball rolling again. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.